In this video, we're going to cover how to plan for courses in Schedule Planner. To access Schedule Planner, there are a few ways you can get there. For students, you can access Student Central, click My Classes, then click Undergraduate Degree Progress. For staff, you can look up a student in My Advisees tab under the Advising Tools. Then on the Advisee Student Center page, you can click Undergraduate Degree Progress. Once you're in, students will be able to see their own profile and staff would need to search for a student. To protect student records, this platform does not allow students to see other students' information. Quick note here about Schedule Planner. This system pulls data directly from Student Central, the main student information system used by the university. Students should contact their advisors with any questions they have concerning their degree requirements found in this platform. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to work with a test student who is an NFA finance major. The profile page here shows some general data regarding the student's overall degree progress, their overall degree progress ring, the overall progress in satisfying undergraduate degree requirements, and then last, their progress in their major. The percentages listed here indicate a student's completion based on the number of requirements the student has for their program, not the number of hours or courses required. Below, you can then see some personal and academic information. Even further down, you'll see their advisor contact information and their course history. Let's now go to the Degree Progress page by clicking Degree Progress at the top of the menu. We'll first see the same progress information, but now we get to dive a bit deeper into finding specific courses to satisfy remaining requirements for a student's major and undergraduate degree. First, I can click the drop-down arrow on the Graduation Requirements page. This will give me a quick dashboard of remaining units or credit hours needed for an undergraduate degree. The check marks here indicate what requirements have been satisfied. Do note that some of the requirements in this dashboard are text only, such as the summer residency requirement, and that will never have a status indicator. On the right side is a section for specific GPA requirements that need to be met. For example here, the student needs to have an overall GPA that is 2.9 or higher by Term 4. When I scroll down a bit more, I can get more specific information regarding this student's progress. First, we'll see the main segment on this page is the class schedule. I can see the student's semesters at a glance and see their course grades as well. I can also see here that the student is registered for a course taking place in the summer. If I scroll down a bit more, I can then click the drop down arrows and see potential schedules for the upcoming semesters. For each upcoming semester, I get the opportunity to drag a course there or browse a course catalog to add the course to my plan. Note, dragging a course here will not register the student for the class. That has to happen on the Register tab. There's a separate video that covers the registration process in more detail. Let's quickly look here at the course catalog. This is an easy way for students to plan for courses that may not appear in their planable requirements area, which is an area I'll cover in a little bit. You can first select the term and then search by course name or ID. The search box here is very specific in the way course information has to be entered. The course prefix must be first entered, followed by a space, and then the number. So it would look like BSC space 2010 if you're looking for that particular biology course. You can also try keyword searches, but it will yield all results that include that string of letters. So for example, if you're searching for something like art, you will get results that include particle physics. Next, let's look at the planable requirements area. I can expand the section for undergraduate requirements, or I can just look at the major requirements. Let's quickly look at the undergraduate requirements drop-down list to see what are some remaining requirements. I can see that I have an easy queue here with this green bar next to the requirements that are satisfied, but scrolling down a bit further, I can see orange next to ethics, meaning that the student has not yet taken an ethics course yet. If I'm the student, what I can then do is drag this as a placeholder to a future semester just by dragging the box to that particular semester. No, it will just be a placeholder though. No specific class will be brought up. If you want to plan ahead for adding a specific class, you can then click Plan Course, and then you'll see all of the courses that could satisfy this requirement and when they are typically offered. Quick disclaimer here. 
Course offerings are subject to change, so make sure you review your courses in your plan with your advisor each semester. To get some more information, I can hover over the I icon, and that will actually give me a good description of the course. Then, if I want to add this to a particular semester, I can change the semester with this drop-down box, and let's say I'll choose Spring 2020, and then click Plan next to, say, this IDS 2113 course. After clicking Plan, if I look at the Planable Requirements area on the left, I'll see this course show up with a purple bar next to it, meaning that it's in my plan, but I'm not yet registered for it, so the requirement box is still orange, as it is not yet satisfied. Looking ahead at the Spring 2020 semester, though, I can see that this IDS course is in my plan. Students are encouraged to review their plan with their advisor to ensure plan accuracy with consideration to mapping milestones, any prerequisites or co-requisites, as well as other college, major, or degree requirements. This can help plenty of students who need to plan ahead for whatever reason, and it also helps departments determine how many students are intending to take a particular course in an upcoming semester. On this page, students can also click Register, and that will bring them to the Schedule Assistant page with their planned courses. They can then optimize their schedule and register for their intended courses. This Register button, though, will only show up when their enrollment window is open for that upcoming semester. For students or advisors who need an easy view of all of this information, they can scroll back to the top of this page and either click Print to create a print-friendly view of this information, or the advisor can click Email Link to Student. I'll take a quick look here at the Print view, and you can easily see the planned courses near the top, and scrolling down will show all of the requirements for the major and undergraduate degree. The checkboxes here along the left indicate what is satisfied. In closing, the Degree Progress tab in Schedule Planner provides students with an interactive tool to plan their degree progression, ensuring all undergraduate degree requirements are accounted for. Students are encouraged to plan ahead for three semesters in order to help the university meet future course demands. That should cover everything you need to know about Schedule Planner and the Degree Progress tab. Thank you for watching and have a great day.